So I'm starting the vlog showing you guys the wall. I am so proud of myself. Let's just take a moment of appreciation for this. Like, yes, there's like one or two that aren't the best. They're sticking out, but it's fine. You can't see it from a distance and that's all that matters. And how's me? Absolutely prepared, ready to fill these up. Otherwise I'll forget. And then I'll be in the middle of cooking and eat my almond flour and I ain't got no arm flower. So within my last vlog, I was uh, telling you guys that I ordered the tiles whilst I couldn't sleep. And then literally they arrived the next day. So I was stoked with that. So I have fully stuck on the tiles. I will actually leave in the description below where I bought these from. It's called like Tic Tac Tiles or something. It's for like rentals because I'm only renting this apartment and I wanted to change like the backlash of the kitchen just purely for like my videos and like to get nice photos. and aesthetics like come on that looks so nice i love that i can like talk to you guys in my cupboard now like i brought you in my cupboard i'm currently getting ready because um we're just about to go get some brunch i'm still like i'm in an iron if i want to have a rest day or not like i love i'm all about that like i'm all about like feeling what you want like feel like listening to your body feeling what you need so i woke up i didn't really feel like training in the morning but i might feel like training in the afternoon but i used to be someone who was like so fixated on like routine and making sure that like i would train at this time and i'll do this at this time and it just caused like a lot of stress and pressure that was so unnecessary and I find something that has really worked for me is just being a little bit more spontaneous going with the flow not being so fixated on like routine and like listening to my body and listening to what I want to do becoming like in tune with like what you want to do and what you need to do within that moment is something that I cannot stress enough it has helped me my life and re like reducing my stress so much with all that so I highly recommend Wash up. Oh, guys, I'm not used to having boobs. Like, they just literally just, like, they just pop out. And I'm not used to that. Looks like I'm constantly cold, but I'm not. I just don't know if these are going to calm down because they're always like this. And, like, I'm, like, maybe because they're still fresh. But, um, yeah, it's always like this. Always got a stiffle. What's the weather like? Is it cold? It's definitely cold, but it's really hot at the same time. I see. <laughs> It's definitely cold, but it's really hot at the same time. Well, if you're in the shade, it's going to be cold. Okay. Okay. So you definitely have to sit outside. Okay. Hey. Hello. So today is like the day where it's like your hair has had way too much dry shampoo. Like I'm talking three days of dry shampoo. So a hat is very necessary. This is why I literally bought this hat because I remember the day that I bought it, I was having a really bad hair day. I was having one of these days where it's like dry shampooed out to the max. You can't really tell I killed it. So I bought this hat for this occasion. <laughs> eh. And this is what I'm wearing. Like, I don't know if I'm feeling my mirror being here, guys. Like the lighting isn't the best. And I feel like I always have to have the house clean because you can see everything. You're ready? I'm ready. So, um, are you going to let me drive the Merc? Uh, no. You said you would. Why did you lie? We can, like, we can have a conversation when we get down there. How about yeah. we have it up here? Whoa! Whoa! If you can get it out of the garage, you can, you can, uh, you can drive. The garage is hard to get it out of, though. I feel like that's going to be, like, the hardest part. But as soon as we get it out of the garage, I'm sweet. Uh -huh. I'll be so okay to drive it. So how about you get it out of the garage? No. The rule of thumb is you get it out of the garage. Yeah, no, I'll be fine. I was actually thinking where my car's parked, and that's hard. But where your car's parked, that's fine. I'm going to the Merc. Oh, first kiss on camera. Cute. <laughs> Loved it. Oh. Come on now, let's go. Don't get too excited. Um, I need Maurice to get an Instagram photo of me today, so do you reckon it's like, you know, when you Cronulla, Cronulla s**ts, and I feel like us showing up at a popular cafe with this camera is a bit, bit out of reach, bit unnecessary, but should we do it? Hey. Uh, why the f not? Talking to you. Maybe I'll just, maybe I'll just shoot it on this camera so I'm not like carrying two cameras. Yeah, that's Definitely the small one. Looks prettier. No, what? You, wait, what do you mean? I'm talking about you getting a photo of me. Cameras don't, you can't. My camera is pretty. It is. I'm getting very offended. No, they're both pretty. Ones. It's 
it is. I'm not bringing my laptop. You're not? No. So I might bring mine. No, no, no. I think we'll just chill. We'll talk. We'll have conversations. This is, a, this is a big thing for him to just chill on a Saturday. Saturday is the day that he works hard. So for him to just chill on a Saturday, that's big. Come on, Chief. I'm going to wear your glasses, by the way. I'm going to wear your glasses, by the way. Chris, are you ready? Ready to rumble. I'm a bit freaking nervous. So what if I do like get a little bit of a scratch? To be honest. No scratches. Look how much room you got here. Look how much room you've got here. I know. But to be honest, I feel like I've done more damage on the passenger side. Can you show them? There, no, there's no damage there. There's no physical. Is there? Is there physical scratches? Okay, so when Chrissy opens my door, she just opens it with like zero understanding that it's a big door and just smashes it into the side of poles and stuff like that. Isn't that right? Than my door, so when I open it, there's a problem. I'm not like in my mind, I know how big my doors are. What I don't like about this car is that your park reverse and drive handle is up here. Why? Because it's convenient that way. No, it's not. It, you feel like you're gonna like touch the blinker. Okay, see, I don't even know what I'm doing. How do I get it in drive? Oh, all right, God. let's keep it in park so it's neutral. So click, click that silver thing in. Amazing. So that's part. Now, yeah, now it is it is a beautiful day out there, so it's probably best just to pull this lever thing here up while in park. Am I doing it right? Just keep hold of it. I feel like it's not moving. This should be moving. Oh, it's moving. It's moving. Do I look badass? Yeah, maybe when we get outside. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So what do I look like right now? Like kinda of badass? Like you look like badass? like a quarter of a badass. Or like just a badass like inside. You want me to be a badass outside. Exactly. It is honestly so satisfying how smooth this is. You're going great. Um, hey, stop, stop, stop. That's pretty close, baby. <laughs> well, you didn't say it's not okay. Now drive all the way down. Nice. Nice. Good morning, rise and shine. Beautiful people of Cronulla. Woo! <sighs> What's this new bitch doing? I hate this. So, when I pull out of here, I've almost crashed like five times. I've been here for a week. <laughs> You're gonna have to creep. You're gonna have to creep I, real slow. I'm absolutely. I get the same thing when I make this turn as well. I'm creeping. Oh, that was solid. Look at me go. <laughs> Man. Like, I feel like something amazing is about to happen. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like we're gonna fly or something. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, I'm so impressed with you, man. But like, honestly, it's just driving a car. Do you know what I mean? Like, it I don't is. know why I get so scared because like, I drive a car all day, every day. You don't have to get used to it, baby. And I'm so good at it. Like, I'm so good at driving cars. <laughs> I love that we're like fighting about like, so I ate a lot of gluten last night. And when I have a lot of gluten, your girl's not the best, as you guys know. So I'm a bit, I complain a lot when I've had gluten. So no, she, she was quiet all morning. That's what I do, hey, I go She quiet. goes real quiet. And you're like, how are you? And then I'm kind of like, just my cry. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, help me. Anyway, so Maurice was basically having a go at me because he was like, you know, <laughs> you know, know it's you. crumbed. You're not going to be able to have it. Find an alternative. But sometimes, right, Maurice, <clears throat> when you have intolerances, you pick and choose your battles. You do want to live a little, otherwise you're in constant fear, mate. You know what I mean? You don't want to be in consistent fear. Definitely not. Consistent. Definitely not. No. Right. Look at this beautiful day, guys. It's uh, fair to say that Christy... Maurice doesn't know much about lighting, babe. The lighting is not good down there. No. Trying to like have it up high. No. Yeah, there we go. You're almost, you're almost there. See? Yeah, you gotta play around with it. Oh, there you go. <clears throat> <laughs> Alright, so guys, this amazing morning we have learned very quickly that the amazing Chris is actually a really good driver. A oh, really, we, really we good driver. Know but, um, but I'm just, I'm very impressed. That's all I've got to say. Very, very impressed. He's only saying this because he's on camera and he's trying to look nice. Because I am nice. Yeah, you're alright. He also likes to copy me and wear everything that I wear. Why are you trying to be me? So trying to be me. What the hell? Oh my god, like it's my hat and everything. And like, oh! I just hit into a pole. I hated that.
Amanda. Why didn't you warn me? I didn't see it. How did, you not, how did I see it? I don't know. I thought it was. <laughs> All right, guys. So Chrissy's walking, giving me shit for sleeping over at her house and asking for some clothes. As she's walking, she runs into this pole. Who the hell put that there? <laughs> So excited, we've just arrived at my friend's parents' home west store. So you guys would know Katie Willey. She was in my last Cooking Me See, so I featured with Katie. Her parents actually own a whole home west store. I told you guys in that video. And she told me to go there today because I'm actually wanting a frame for the top of my bed. So we've just arrived. It was roughly like an hour and 20 minute drive, but we're gonna go see Maurice's brother while we're here. And we're gonna suss out like the home store. It looks huge. So you guys can help me pick and find one. I'm so excited. Oh wow, yeah. look at this one. I love that one. Babe, look at that one. Nice. That one? Oh, or that one. All right, so this is Katie's amazing dearest mother. So what do we have here? Homewares, prints, rugs, Moroccan okay, rugs, so the husband, the and the husband, of course. Well, there's a few like is comfy it? lounges. So we've done well, fitting both of them in the car. Are they glass, babe? Do you reckon they'll be okay? They'll be fine, <laughs> they'll be fine. This is a vibe, I'm excited. I'm. It's packed, it's packed and ready to go. Okay, so we have established that house lighting at night is not flattering at all. Anyway, so we have just come home and Maurice has brought up the painting. So these are the ones that we got. Exhibit A is going up here and exhibit B is on the side and this one's going right above on my bedroom. So I feel as though this is going to look smick. Like I love this one, especially because of the white frame because I don't really have much wood in here. Like I do a little bit. But I know. <laughs> anyway, so we have just ordered the beads because we're actually going to do a mukbang, a mukbang, a mukbang on like a live mukbang on my Instagram story. So we're so excited. What did we order? Like, what's it called? Ribs and pork ribs. No, the place. Oh, um, rustic ribs. So we ordered from rustic ribs. I am very, very excited. I've literally been living off like sweet potato fries for the past like four days, like literally four days in a row. I've had sweet potato fries for dinner, but I'm not complaining. I'm very happy. And this is my first time ordering from like a Deliveroo and Uber Eats in my apartment because I didn't actually have that back on the Central Coast because we just didn't have that around there. We're too small. So now I have it. So I'm so excited. But I'm like, this is my first time going live with you guys. Honestly, I'm that, that excited. We have our organic wine and we're going to have our ribs and we really don't know what we're going to talk about that's why i like my bangs there's like no actual structure or like any purpose to what we're talking about there is purpose but like we're just gonna just gonna wing it and answer everyone's questions so i'm really excited are you excited babe i'm like 10 excited yeah like a 10 yeah out of, oh, okay I'm, I'm an 11. Uh, who is it oh yeah hey bro come on in any Uber Eats is here. Hello. This is so fun. Oh my God, I have all my friends. How are we guys? So we've just uh, ordered our Uber Eats. Hi, oh that looks horrible. Oh my God. Wow, um, yeah. Okay, this one's the beef one with no, the regular chips. No, that one's the No, no, I actually got, I actually got the, the beef with the regular chips. Yeah, beautiful. Yes, but you can, you can have the chips from here. Yeah, cool, okay, cool. cool. Good 
Good morning guys. So I've just gotten ready for the gym and I'm about to go have a really good arm workout. So there's this arm workout that I have been doing that I am absolutely loving. It's kind of like a Tabata style workout, just like mixed with weights and cardio. So I wanted to film that for you guys because I'm loving it so much. Because I ate a lot of food last night, I'm actually okay to go fasted, except I am and I have been having this pre-workout. So as you guys know, I don't usually take pre-workout, but recently a YouTuber that I absolutely adore, her name is Georgie Stevenson. She's in collaboration with Naked Harvest and she has released this kind of like pre-workout. So I wanted to give it a go purely because it has like no artificial sweeteners whatsoever. And you guys know I'm so against like anything that's artificial, especially when it comes to like products and having sweeteners in it because it's so bad for the gut. And the ingredients overall are just like super natural and this tastes so good and it's like vegan friendly and overall just like works. Like it gives you that natural beauty boost of energy for your workout without that like crash because that's another reason why I never liked taking pre-workouts because you just have like a random crash in between your workout or just like in your day as well I'm like that is just like an inconvenience like I want to have energy all day you know so because I don't really need breakfast because literally we ate so much food last night in that mukbang and then we had dessert and like oh wow it was great, but the dinner wasn't great. Like it was so soggy and off and I was like not okay with that. We ordered like pork ribs and sweet potato fries and like because we did on Uber Eats, the pork ribs were like on the fries which made them like super soggy and you guys know like super potato fries are my thing and like they had no crunch and i was like what even is this i'm just going to literally just have this and a coffee on my way before my workout and i'm ready to rumble oh, hold up your girl she's gonna share a discount code so if you are interested to learn more or even purchase this natural pre-workout i will leave the link in the description below and my discount code is just a c15 <laughs> That shit always on my mind Oh, 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 shawty now Take my hand, where you wanna go? To be flow, black and white Call her sushi roll, pulling up To my bed, where she wanna go? Take control, speed it up Now just take it slow, drive it low Roll it up, can she hit it though? Blow it out, push it off Like a domino, fuck it up Fuck it up, hit it on the floor Pick it up, chop it up Wipe it off and off Zero one, and we only just rode in. Yeah, we back at 301, and we about to, about to go in. Heard him rapping about it last month. I don't wanna hear him rapping again. Now nah, we ain't trying to be friends. Kelly Kelly trying to win. Ho, let's explain it better. Let me break it down for him. I'm just trying to whip a four and run up in the store and cop it all. It's been a crazy hit for me, baby. So let's just top it off. We'll ride it to the top until the driver just to drop us off. I ain't trying to look back now. I ain't even trying to rap now. I'm insane. Like you saying with a pen and pad turning tracks down I know it sound crazy and I know it's sort of shady But I'm climbing to the top and I'm just trying to be the one I'm just trying to be the dopest Today is your lucky day Everyone is going to now find out how to make the perfect scrambled eggs yeah! It's taken me a while to ace it And a few articles on Google to go through And actually one or two YouTube tutorials So honestly people complicate it If someone just told me that the secret step Is to have the heat on very low Because if you like your girl Chris And you're an impatient cooker You cook everything on high because you're hungry And you want it to cook straight away But with scrambled eggs That is a definite no-no So the trick with scrambled eggs is to just have the fry pan on super super low so my, my, my fry pan on low you can't even see the flame okay you can a little bit but yeah and then I'm literally just going to melt some ghee and then with my eggs I'm just gonna use one whole egg and four egg whites I actually keep mine completely dairy free so there's like no cream, no milk or anything in that. I literally will just pop a bit of water, salt and pepper. Next secret step is you need a rubber spatula. I use rubber so I don't actually scratch my fry pan. I'm going to pop it on even lower. There we go. Take it off the heat for a little bit. Because scrambled eggs cook so quickly. So as soon as they're on this heat, they're cooking. So you just want to do a bit of this, do a bit of that. 
I actually had this on too high. Usually I'd have it a bit lower so it wouldn't actually stick usually. Hence why I took it off the heat. Well that's bloody depressing isn't it? They don't need long to cook at all. They'll just literally on there for like a minute. So this is my scrambled eggs and then I will just use my paleo bread. So this is the paleo bread that I use. So I'm just gonna have two slices of that and then I'm going to pop some ghee on it as my butter and then voila.